1995 and it is time for Fantastic Pinball. Wait, 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 no, no, stop, stop, stop everything, I said no, no, I'm not get. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the clone lab bit, I said no religion jokes today, damn it, no, 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 I'm, well I'm out of here, you find another fucking superstar, alright, fuck you, yeah, I'm out of here. And it's time again, once again, in the day of... Video Game Sunday to once again face our demons, the secret boss in Q-Ting Kai, Fantastic Pinball, the Temple Witch... Mother Brain! How many times has it been just this year alone that we tried to kill the witch? Too many, or maybe not enough, some would say, with the 1995 PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn pinball video game by Technosoft. Let's go. Harpies, demons, devils, swords, armors, capes, magic canes, but most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, balls. Most of you might just have two balls, the more unlucky of you shall only have one, but I today am going to be playing with not even three balls. But probably four if my save file will assist me on my Sony PlayStation 1 memory card virtual save battery backup support. And today, we're gonna grab our balls by the balls and shoot them all at the temple. And then the temple's gonna crack, the witch is gonna reveal, the witch is gonna get pissed, it's gonna become red. And then maybe, just maybe... The unseen, the uncharted, the undocumented, the witch's defeat. There's a fucking wretched fucking bitch. Maybe might die today, might be today after all that happened. The full power glory of Twitch fucking useless Rotary underscore challenge stream. Or maybe just another depressing video game stream. Welcome back to another stream here at twitch.tv slash Gauthier and the score. 
Today we're gonna play Q Tenkai Fantastic Pinball again. Give it up for Techno Shots Pinball Game. Who gives a shit about Thunder Force? Who gives a shit about Shmups? This is all about Pinball God. Fucking damn it, leave a message now in chat. Dark Rift, Mystical Machine Gun. I will put the air near the Amsta Bio Balls, Dr. Michels. Pain Gabe, Sonicus, Rainy Weather Guy, welcome to the stream. What am I watching? The answer is yes. Soleta, welcome back. Pioneer Sex 1280, Zalathar, Pixel underscore Turkey. Today we're gonna play this game once again. One of my biggest nemesis is this. A video game in the unseen before a boss that I've discovered, that I chased, that I fought bravely and valiantly over and over again. I could never prevail, could never defeat her, could only get her pissed. And as I got her pissed, I got pissed myself more and more until I had to be detained. God damn it, I kept talking and screaming to the authorities about this week, but nobody would believe me and they kept injecting me with shit and sedatives. But finally I busted out of that place. And I'm here all to tell you guys, you chase your nemesis and follow your, follow your video game dreams. Literally use your balls is probably the theme of this stream today. To use your balls, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't matter how many you have. Some people in chat only have two. I happen to have more to play with today. Some people in chat don't have any. But we're not making this a matter of genitalias, everybody. We're making this a matter of spirituality in gaming notwithstanding the present day we found ourselves to be enjoying a video game stream in rainy weather guy welcome again to the stream uh, Rizzo Jean, what's going on? Pinball? That's, that's funny Pinball reminds me of um, the gun ballot game, the point blank shit um, they're pretty much solid. I stand by that. I will stand by that. Uh, Ernie the Hamster, you're asking me why you got timed out? And you're asking that on a new account? Are you just... Are you just... I mean... Okay. Today is a happy... Today is a day of generosity. And... You know... <laughs> What the fuck do you want? Huh? What is your problem? Huh? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? You got timed out? And now you're asking why you got timed out with a new account? You know what, Buster? I don't care why you got timed out. I don't give a shit. The fact that you give a shit. Enough to ask. Six years later, on a new account, tells me that maybe a slap on the wrist was not enough for you. This is how we're gonna do things today. First thing in the morning. This is gonna be our approach to this day of streaming. Or are we gonna be cool? We gotta start getting somebody impaled here. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? I will be back. Welcome back. Terror Van. Hello, Terror Van. Jokes on you. I've never been cool a day in my life. Well, that's because your nickname is Terror Van. 
Gotta live up to your nickname, everybody. Remember that. Remember that. Follow your fever dreams and use your balls. Enjoy video games. And live by your nickname. Because if you took the effort to go online and have other people read your fucking shit. At least, at least act like the nickname you're being presented with. Because some people might read one of the sentences you type on the internet. And not actually give a fuck about what you wrote. So at least, you know, present it in a coherent fashion. Look at Mystical Machine. And he has a stupid fucking nickname. He doesn't ever have to say anything smart. Because nobody will ever take him seriously. You see? On the other hand, on the other hand, see Emmy there? Her nickname, if you say it aloud three times, her furniture will start moving. You know? But he matches that with what she writes. See, she's giving a, a story now in one sentence that is just a simple quote, so best result with the minimal effort. You know, a story of how good-looking I am. And she is... You know, if you know the inside and the callbacks, you know, she's, she's got credit for that, but, you know, there's a lot of value in that message. You know, and the nickname is good. Dakat Mara's got a nice nickname. Zalatha's nickname sounds fucking scary. You know, there's something there. I will be back. It's got a, you know, it's got a mean nickname. That's pretty good. It matches that. You know, so today's life lesson is don't be stupid on the internet because nobody gives a shit. And if I look like I do... <laughs> then you're stupid. I just look like it. You know, we're having fun here. Remember, this is a live stream on Twitch.tv. And that's what we do. We have fun. Which is exactly why we should play something else than this piece of shit game that's actually looking super cool with nice graphics and music. Because then again, it's a Technosoft game. Now, I'm going to press the reset button. Because I know you all want to hear that fucking PlayStation 1 boot sound to get your dick hard and shit like that. Apologies to the ladies in chat. You know, feel free to imagine your video game dick getting hard and stuff like that. So with spiritual stream, spiritual stream. Pump up the volume. Haze Mega 64. Me too, buddy. Did you release your fucking game, dude? Do I have to stream your fucking game now? How much are you gonna pay me for my sponsorship? Oh, you subscribed? Alright, we're cool. Is your game fun? <laughs> How long will it take me, a professional video game superstar, to beat your game? I kinda wanna play Haze Mega's game. Conda Man, hello there. <laughs> Ava Putty, hello there. Oh, you already were here at the beginning of the stream. Don't mind that. Took Dana three hours? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your game is a little bit too easy or a little bit too short, Haze Maker. Sounds like your game might not be all that hot after. I'm just kidding. I dig short games more than ever. Well, it sounds like, you know, it sounds like your game could be a. Decent sideshow to my <laughs> All right, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Let me know what you ate and what you're gonna eat on this day. And now I'm gonna press this button that says gameplay. And then this one that says fast. And then this one that says data load. And uh, whoopsie daisy porco dio. Looks like I... <laughs> I don't have the memory card plugged in that I'm supposed to have. <laughs> well, oh golly. Fucking shit. <laughs> Quickly going to um, replace that. Uh. 
remove the blue memory card, plug in the red memory card. No? Nothing? Do I have to... Let's do it like this. <clears throat> Memory card is a Japanese PlayStation 1 hub. Why is that plug it on slot 2? This looks like it's... Oh, there's this Q Tenkai save file. So... Yeah, my bad. Ah. Uh. To mm. work like this, the way I have it is I have a multi-tap plugged into the first slot. Um, and the multi-tap on the PlayStation 1, very interestingly, it doesn't really make any sense, but the multi-tap has four memory card slots. Not one, not two, but four. I'm like, what the fuck? But did they work? They work? Pepperoni, poly sausage, black pudding, horseradish, pasca. What is pasca? That means... That's what... Pasca sounds like... Okay, there is a safe... It told me that there is actually a cute Kai safe. Oh, nice. Pasca sounds like a winter jacket made out of wheat. Sounds like a mix between pasta and parka. What is pasca? Pasca is shit in Finnish. <laughs> Depending on his answer, it might be shit in English as well. <laughs> What's up, Vic? Yeah. Fast! Data load! Oh, what the fuck? He told me there was data! Where's my data at? Doesn't really matter, but. What? What? Bro, what? Hold on. Ah. Dude. Dude, I can't slot in the fucking... Ah. It's going, you bitch. You like it? Yes. Anything? Huh. What's going on here? Look, 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 it said there was a file. It said there was a save file. Eh? Uh, uh, it said, it said, you know what? You know what? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Let's just play the game like this. Just gonna play the game like this. Now, I had a save file with an extra ball, which sort of kind of helps, but it's not that big of a deal. Try taking out the multi tap. Dude, I checked on the hub. And now the game froze because I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to tweak too much with that shit. All right. 
So for those of you that don't know what's actually going on with this game, um, there is, you know, a way to beat this game, which we have done years and years ago. And then there's a way to beat beat the game, I like to think. That would be dope. But anyways, there is a temple at the top section of the table, and that temple can be with much luck, effort, and loss of mental sanity damaged until it can be broken and then the witch on the inside you can still hit her and then she gets pissed you know now what happens after that though is a mystery forgive me for resetting the playstation the for the millionth time but it ain't fucking working and you know i might i, I, I would I, i'd rather emulate to prevent bullshit like this waste of time right right here, but for this game, what we're trying to do is so unique and such a big Herculean effort and stupid task. This is the dumbest live stream on earth that since I do have the game, I'd rather do it on hardware, you know, but other shit I'd gladly emulate. See, it tells me that there is data for Fantastic Pinball. It might just be the wrong... Um, a save file doesn't actually have a save on it. That could be what that is. You know? Yep. I don't keep track of what memory card has what in it anymore, so let's not give a shit. Mama always warned me about putting balls in witches' faces. It does turn out indeed to decrease your intelligence. The more you do that, I agree, that is the deal. Now, this game has three characters. And the one you want to play as is this guy, whose name is Sword Shield. That's the name of his character, Sword Shield. Now, this game, you will likely see it now as I plunge. Yes, you see my ball now morphed into a blue sword. My ball is now doing... <laughs> my ball now does three times the damage. Three times. Whereas, if I was playing as the girl, when that triggers, I would... Oh, look at that. I got three... I got the worst thing possible. Okay. It would get me three times the normal score. And if you play as a little dragon, it's weird. When you get the effect triggered, like just now my ball is a sword. For the dragon, it'll be a turtle shell. You hit like six times instead of one. Turns out to do more damage, the best way is still to play as Sword Shield here tonight. Now, this is like the little bosses that you have to defeat, all four of them. And this is like the hardest room of them, which I'm about to lose because the rabbits are gonna eat an apple or a gonna drain, but it doesn't matter. We're not trying to beat these whatsoever. But if you ever played a Devil Crash, this is the same developers, the same developers that developed Thunder Force, the famous uh, shmup series. They made the Mega Drive remake for Devil Crash, Nexit, or Compile even, if you will, is a famous pinball video game simulation. And Devil Crash MD is a masterpiece, and a much better game than this is. But this is their unique one that they made from the ground up. And it's just as cool as it looks. But it is just as shit as you can infer from my facial expressions and tonalities when I speak about it. The physics are atrocious. The mechanics are daunting. The logistics of it are phenomenally frustrating and infuriating. Whenever you want to enter a boss like Satan here, this is soccer Satan, you have to hit the pop bumpers in the middle of the screen until two of the three faces will show Satan's face. So it's all up to randomness. What's worse, ladies and gentlemen, is that when you do enter one of the boss rooms, such as this one, everything that matters in the table will reset, including, and here's where I get Insane, including the progress of the damage on the Pantheon, the temple where the witch we want to fucking murder 
Resize. The Majin Zenki, welcome back to the stream, says, What the fuck? I thought you weren't streaming today. Well... I did say I wasn't gonna stream when I realized it was Easter, and then when I realized, you know, I said, Hey, I'm gonna stream a little bit, and, uh... You know, uh, it's Easter. What about it? I'm streaming. I meant, I meant to stream something way more, um... New to the channel today. I had I had a big plan for today. Especially you know about as a Patterson follower. But talking about um talking about um what was I talking about? Oh yeah, next Sunday I'll do that. That secret thing. Rad Raccoon, what's going on there? Hojo Akira. Hello there. Welcome everybody. Any any food plans you got for this weekend? It is the Panthin, by the way, on the left. Very hard to hit. See, that wasn't a hit. That was not a hit either. Now there was that one. No, or that one. You start to see why this is absurdly stupid. Good. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna have fun today, chat. <laughs> a big ham on, in the oven? Whoa. Any um, condiments? You're gonna rub it with some salt and pepper, maybe. You're gonna smear some mustard on it. Or some shit. I ate two big ass pieces of salmon yesterday that I marinated and cooked in a fucking frying pan. And then I, on the, underneath, I put this cream of peas that I mixed with some turmeric and onions. And that really was, well, I was supposed to eat that, like, in company the day prior, but I put some fucking <clears throat> soy sauce in it, not knowing that soy sauce has gluten, and that wasn't allowable. Notice how I still haven't hit the Panthen once, despite me hitting directly the Panthen. I hit it directly, and it did not count as a hit, not one time. And all the time, while we're trying to do this shit, this soft, nice anime music is gonna play. And this music, you will never guess it. Gloria! Gloria! Ah, Gloria! Gloria! It's a rip-off of a famous Italian song called Gloria. That's super famous international as well, because an American cover by a woman of it got famous as well. Ah, tch -tch. Oh, it's just in the chat. Hello, Phil Carbonara today. Well, maybe it's because you sucked at the uh, Hachimon yesterday. You ever thought of that? Maybe you should have taken uh, less time figuring out that you can roll and break the blocks in the tutorial stage yesterday during the French retro gaming event, the Tondus. Huh? Thought about that? I'm just kidding. I don't know if you did get stuck there, <laughs> if you actually sucked. <laughs> I saw you were there, though. Like, ah, that guy is... is Ah, look at the hair on that guy. That guy's got the best hair. You can just tell he's a follower of my stream. <laughs> uh, you put you put too much pecorino. I added some pasta, boiling water, and made something too liquid. For carbonara, you don't really need to add uh, water unless you really just added too much pecorino. Then it's fine to add some water just to balance it. Likewise, when it's too runny with the egg, you add even more pecorino to make it a bit more thick. Right? It sounds like you're at least using the right ingredients. And hey, nobody does it perfectly the first time, you know? You, you kind of have to fuck up in life, you know? And then when you do, you find your balls. And when you do find your balls, you better... You better throw them at an old fucking 300-year-old woman that hides in a temple when you do find your balls. Uh, in the meantime, since you haven't found your balls yet, just leave it to me. I'll throw mine. You know, they're they're kind of big enough for the rest of the chat. You know, I, you know I'm gonna have a... You know, I'm a... You know, you know I'm kind of... You know, it's not usually what you overcompensate with. It's too much close to... You know, the same garden, but hey, at least it's not Olive Garden. You know, Olive Garden is kind of shit, they say. They say, hey, infinite bread streaks, but I don't care about bread streaks, you know? What I care about is infinite games. There's infinite good games. You guys know that? There's infinite good games? Nobody has ever played all the good games. Nobody ever will. I once heard of a dude that was on life support since he was a child and lived... 120 years. 
he played good games every day. He would not play a single bad game, only good games. Man, that guy still died with regrets. Because he's like, ah, oh, I wish I had played more good games. You know? You gotta pick your battles. And that's why this is the most stupid stream on Twitch. Because we're playing this fucking game to try and kill the witch when there's so many good games to be infinite good games. Infinite good games. This is literally infinite good game. That's not the same as infinite. What do you mean it's not the same as infinite? That's exactly what that is. It is not something you you can... It is not something finite. You cannot finish it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the words coming out of my... Mouth? <laughs> uh, did you know about Fabio's goose incident? Yes. That was like... 30 years ago. <laughs> Finite. Oh. <laughs> well, what I'm saying I mean, is that there is infinite good games. <laughs> hey, maybe that's how you say in Australia, right? God damn it. Took me a while to realize what even you were talking about. And, um... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on today, it's Easter, but in the background I see like a pentacle carpet and it says Pijo. That's what it says, it says Pijo. Cool. Um, Alright. So let me remember what we actually need to do. Instead of just tossing the ball around, which to be honest is going quite well as I haven't drained once yet. Or have I? I must have. It says chance zero. Wow. Okay, so let me explain the um, constants of this game, of this table. Which is the only table in this game. But that's that's perfectly right. So what you want to do first off from down here, you want to hit the left wing of the bat, or rather it's right wing, but the wing on the left side of the screen, and that will constantly get you on the middle of the table, literally through that pattern. Now, you're here in the middle, and those pop bumpers are not in a nice position for you to get to the top, which is where we want to play at. So what you do is you try and get your ball in the hand of the lady. You know, and, uh, you know, it might be hard for you guys, but I have a lot of training in that regard. So I just have to shoot the ball in the... Okay, don't look at me like that's not what I meant. You just, uh, they, they close. Sometimes you just can't find the, the hand. Okay, now, you know, we didn't do what we wanted to do, but we got up and we're going to make it count. Or not, you know, it's can't really control that all too well. There is nudging in this game, but it's fucking useless! Very well. There is no... There you go. I got a hit. And that was not a hit. You know why? Because there's a motherfucker demon, the blue demon there, um, blowing air. But hey, give it up to our bald dancer. You know? Oh, shit. That sucks. Alright, so normally this would be a disaster. Um, that one hit I got on the Pantheon, that one measly eats hit just got reset because I entered the boss room, which I'm now going to abandon as soon as possible. Hope the Tondus was fun to watch. The game was good, though. It was fun to watch because I was there commentating it with Jiggy. Of course it was fun to watch. However, it's a cool event. And uh, thank you to Siju for um, putting that together. The game was super cool as well. I don't know about hard, but that game definitely is a lot of skill involved with all the cool mechanics, control-wise and shit. I know, Emmy. God damn it, I know that. I mean, I didn't know it was in. in, in it, you know, it was finite, but you know, I was fucking around after that. <laughs> um, yeah, finite. This sounds stupid. Finite. It's finite. It's a finite. That sounds even more stupid now, damn it! I'm just gonna keep saying, finite. Finite. <laughs> the Fabio Goose incident for everyone else who didn't know. Zeki, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about that. You might not know this, but the Fabio Goose incident is more famous than Fabio. It's himself, for some reason. Uh. And, uh, you know, we don't want to, you know, 
you know, I would like to think that I'm better than Fabio, you know, at his best, before the Goose incident. Which is obviously a pivotal point in his uh, modeling career, and uh, I think it's kind of unfair for you to bring that up. In the context of this stream, where I'm constantly saying how I'm much better than Fabio, and, you know, it might be um, a bit of a unfair play. I know what you're doing there, you know, as a supporter of this stream. I get it. But I feel like I don't really need it, and that would just sully the glory and pureness of my achievement. You know what I mean? You found out today. <laughs> Gloria! Gloria! <laughs> Still haven't rearranged the pop bumpers. Boring. Always takes a little bit for me to de rust when I play this and start doing shit properly again. Yeah, well, fuck. I showed the Fabio Goose incident on Australian TV constantly. I wasn't even looking at the screen then. They did. Which is kind of a shame, because you, you don't really get to see the impact or anything. Man, this pisses me off that I don't have the save file. This, this is, this, this, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is dumb. I don't like this. I'm not a fan of this. I protest against my own stream. Believe it or not, beautiful stream. Beautiful stream. But it's time to protest. What can you save high scores? Well, I would argue most importantly, you can save balls. Now, probably this one. Let me see here. <laughs> See, there's a fucking Q-Tenkai save file right there. See that, little witch? That shit should work. What about... What about this Metal Gear one? What about this one? Blank Dino Crashes, Monster Bass, bunch of light game games, fishing games, uh, Rescue Shot, okay, cool, cool, this should do it, should do it. So what can you save? You can save your high scores, of course, but this game literally have save slots, save files, and the most important use you can uh, achieve out of that functionality and support is literally getting an extra ball and save, so you have four balls instead of three, pretty much. See, this says, the first one says that there is save file for Q-Tenkai here. And the second one says that there isn't. I'm gonna load the first memory card. Why do you care? I thought you hate save states. This is not a save state. This is a saves lot. And I care because it matters and it helps us kill the witch. See? Also, we don't have to waste time entering our fucking score when we finish the playthrough. Because I already have the whole scoreboard filled with my fucking score. Because I'm the best player that ever was of this game, which is not a flex. If anything, it's a fucking display of stupidity and stubbornness. That's me. This is the most stupid um, 
show on Twitch. Now, this is the save file I'm gonna use. Because I have an extra ball. Chance three actually means you have four balls. There you go. Yeah, Hojo Akira. Uh, interestingly, let's talk about the billion. Hello, Juice Willis. The billion points. Now, I got a billion points in this game. But the interesting part about that is why did I get a billion points? I got a billion points in this game because I wanted to see if anything happened. As it turns out, nothing happens. It just acknowledges that you got a billion. Uh, text appears, and that's about it. Cool. But I had extremely good reason to wonder what was going to happen. Because in their other pinball game, which again is Devil Crash MD, Devil Crash Mega Drive. The remake of Devil's Crush. Devil Crush, Devil's Crush, uh, known in the West as Dragon's Fury. Which got a sequel, Dragon's Revenge, which would then by Tengen and just Western develop. But not many people know that it's a, it's a Technosoft game. Which you might know for the Thunder Force series. And in that game, you have two options to complete the game. Which, by the way, is impossible to do without abusing the hell out of the save functionalities, which here is the memory card save slot feature, In that Mega Drive 1 is passwords. Now you can still load and save even faster than this one because the game memorizes your last uh, password. You just have to pause the game to get one. Nice! Okay, that's, that is the pop bumper setup that is gonna favor us. So in Devil Crush MD, you can beat the game either by killing all the boss rooms, in one credit and then you unlock the final boss which is extremely impossible to do without you know it's it's or something that's actually easier to do is you get a billion points a billion points you counter stop a pinball game score and that is easier and probably faster to do than oh nice sword hit than actually beating the game. So I did that. And that was the first game in the Sega Mega Marathon back in November 2014, as a matter of fact. Little uh, channel story bit for you. November 2014, I was, you know, on this channel playing this fucking Pimmel game. That's way better than this. And now we're playing this one where, you know, it made sense. Hey, let's check if uh, anything happens and you get a billion. Nothing happened. And then I proceeded to beat the game, which is super hard to do because, man, getting the uh, harpy done and the bunny girl done, who's now open, by the way, but that doesn't threaten me too much. We don't want to enter the boss rooms if we can help it. See how much easier it is now to get up. If we enter any... Oh, fuck. If we enter any boss room... The progress on the Pantheon damage will reset. Underrated comment earlier that I failed to acknowledge in time. I don't know how ignorant you are. I'm just guessing, says Emmy. And she is guessing, you know, just to be safe. She's overshooting on guessing how ignorant I am. And boy, let me tell you something. That is the right approach. And now for some flamenco. Still do that, but we votes. Still do what? What's up, Macaulay45? Remember when I would win every second lottery race and make you play Mahjong and Taiwanese shit? You made me play uh, Taiwanese beat em up. You made me play the only pachinko game on Mega Drive, which I happen to have. And you made me play. Waiyalai no Kiseki, the TNE Soft Mega Drive. Remake of the computer golf games. That was pretty fucking dope. Uh, no Mahjong, I believe. 
Do you get a cool ending when you beat the game? I forgot, it was so many years ago, I barely remember how the final boss looks like, but it's spoiled on the back of the Saturn version's um, case. Uh, I, I, it's, 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 this is not what we're doing, I, I, I don't care about actually beating the game like that, I just want to kill the witch, if it's even a thing that happens. Let's see what we get today. Nice. So once you get the pop bumpers in that setup, in that like reverse L setup, it is quite easy to get the ball up through some like constant uh, patterns of shooting your ball or whatever. All right, nice hit, nice. We cracked it. See how it's cracked now? Cool. Now cracking it is easy. You will crack it like casually, playing casually as well. After you crack it, actually busting it open takes like a lot more hits than it does to just crack it. And you just need to get hits with the sword. And we just did, I think. That's nice. And then, when the witch shows up after you bust it, to get the witch from normal to pissed, it's, it's easy. It's as easy as getting the panthen from normal to- FUCK! This fucking tip of the flipper physics is so stupid and shit. Now this crap is in um, that will crash. This failure. Damn it! I was trying to control the ball. Okay, here we go. Oh, also, I think last time we played it, we played this. We discovered that you can wake up the mummy. And the mummy is actually a bikini girl in a red bikini. And uh, that was sick. And you get a one-up or some shit. Ninja Buraiden said, so I have that game. That game's got a soundtrack by Hiro. One of the very few Hiroshi Kawaguchi soundtracks in my That game looks so fucking sick. I think Zenki translated it. No? Did Zenki translate that shit or is... No? I think Zenki translated um, Bahamut Senki, which is another sick-looking strategy game that's exclusive to Mega Drive. Badly want to play. Where's the Mega Drive bootleg porno anime? There's not a lot of that. We did some. We played um, Dial Q O Mawase, the Mahjong game that supposedly rips off the engine off of Mahjong Cop Ryu, which is my most wanted to play Mahjong game at this point. I have a copy of that. Mm. What's up, Marty.Zone? Um. Hello, Jiggy. So many. There's infinite good games. I was just talking about it. Infinite good games. And you're a guy that spent his whole life playing good games. He died at the age of 120. You know, he inherited a big fat sum of money, he spent all these days, you know, playing games and having the nurse attending to his, you know, this fucking shit you get when you're in bed all day, every day. And then at the age of 120, just died, filled with regret, you know, it's like, you know, God, you know, I wish I played more good games. Mm. Yeah, Lord Monarch owns, you can play that with the mouse. Zenki translated that many years ago. What does the character selection do? Zolbat 1, long time <coughs> no see. How are you? Um, well, this might come as a shocker, Zolbat 1, but the character selection screen makes you select a character. Um, <laughs> There's three characters in this game, and the difference is when the ball goes fast enough to trigger the effect of it, the effect is different. The character known as Sword Shield here, the effect shall be triple damage. The girl is triple score and like the little dragon dude gets like six hit instead of one. Which on paper sounds good, but it's not as good as the sword when you're trying to, you know, do shit in the game. Alright. So... So, uh, you're welcome, Zolbet. Very welcome. Okie dokie. 
We're playing Shoggy nowadays. I don't know how many of you know, but we've two streams into Shoggy for the Mega Drive, the only Shoggy game. It's called Shoggy no Hoshi. It's a home data game, and it is very fucking cool, despite the tile set font being complete shit. But I am getting my ass handed to me in extreme fashion. I've finished... I have defeated the first opponent finally last time, and then there is this puzzle game, but then later... And I said this on Discord, I figured out that when they say it's a tree move puzzle, because Shoggy has these puzzles, where every move you do must be a check on the king, and then you gotta finish with a checkmate. When they say three moves, it's actually including the AI's moves, so it's really like two moves. So maybe next time we'll be able to see the second opponent. But I feel like if I don't, like, oof, shit, if I, if I don't train... <laughs> If I don't train offline, I'll never beat that game. I'll never beat that game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, hold on. Get the shield. Yu Yu Kichi was streaming this game. Um, was it last week or whatever? Fuck. Nice. Alright. No! No! We don't want the pop bumpers like that. We're gonna have to hit it in the face with my balls some more. Look at that! How is that not a hit? It's what I would say if I weren't already perfectly acquainted with this game's bullshit. You know, just for comedic fashion. Nice! Nice! Oh, I went for that one. I knew it could have worked, and it did. That was a hit with the sword, and that is a huge deal. Because now we're close to revealing the witch in the first place. Okay, so now my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... No, I'm actually trying now. I'm gonna try hard now. Not that you can do much about this, but... You know. You can minimize your drainings. Like that, that was shit. Let's try and hit her. Didn't hit her. Whoa, it's Xena. Don't worry, streamer. We know you are a man of conviction and sheer will. We are all sure you will master Shogi and beat the game very soon. That's how it goes. I mean, I know it's just, it's gonna be fast. It looks like it's hard, but I'm just too good for that. Can't be stopped, cannot be stopped. Will not be stopped. Thank you for the very kind words. <laughs> it's a joke. Who's doing, who's doing this? Who is... Who's booing? Shouldn't play with a man's feelings about video games. You should never do that. There are many feelings you can tolerate with, in my opinion. That is alright, you know, if you wanna date a married woman and try to say to her that her husband's dick is not good you can do that in my opinion that's fine that's perfectly respectable of a course of action but toying with a man's feelings about his video games that he's trying to conquer really not really even trying to enjoy at this point just it doesn't matter we're way past that it's the enjoyment of the conquest at this point. That is just cruel. I don't know who could do that. This is the most cruel form of cyberbullism. And some could say, hey, man, there's no such thing as that. Just turn off the computer, bro. But uh, I cannot turn off my stream. If I turn off my stream, I will not eat for the next month. So I must keep streaming the video game, and uh, that is why you are an evil person, Rod King. Hello, welcome back. I watched you play this table for like four hours, and I still see new stuff all the time. Cool. I'm ass. I I ass. Whoa, there's. I mean, there's no finesse to that. That was just being mean. I mean. I mean, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here playing game for you and, you know, being video game enjoyer. I saw this strategy on YouTube, I want to learn. It's called, like, the Demon King 
or the Demon Slayer, this video popped up on my feed called Shogi Strategy Demon Slayer. It's a video by Hidechi, so it's respectable and all. Um, I want to learn that strategy and use it in the game. Demon something? Demon something. It's called, there's a demon in it. There's another one called a Silver Climb. Because use the Silver General to go up and shit. Rod King, uh, thank you for the 100 hater bits. You know, I feel like you could hate on me a little bit more, though. Don't you think? I don't feel like you're hating on me enough, if you know what I mean. Um, thanks. That is a third of a peanut butter jar's price. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I'm still eating peanut butter every day. I'm mixing now the smooth with the crunchy one. And they say it's 100% peanuts, but I know that there's gotta be some seed oil in there, otherwise it'd be a fucking paste. Thick-ass paste. What's up, Smiling Big? Yeah, it sure does look cool. Crunch is best. Yeah, I just don't want it to be too crunchy, you know? I like to mix them. Same brand, same price. Ooh. Ooh. No! Okay, cool. Will you sell your mixed peanut butter under the name Goat is Nut? Uh, <laughs> maybe in a few years? <laughs> I walk to the supermarket nearby just to buy that peanut butter. I will buy other shit at that point too, but... It seems that they have the cheaper stuff over there. I buy the rocket salad there as well. Ooh, we enter the harpy's hole. I should get an animated emote of the harpy crying. Somebody, somebody do the work for me. See, the harpy's crying now. How do I get to see that animation and for people to capture it, you know? Like this. No, she's not crying anymore. Yeah, you could get her crying and just trap the ball on one of the top uh, flippers. Sorry, microphone issues. Okay, we gotta work on those. I was gonna say peanut butters. No, uh, pop bumpers. Close. Hmm. In those health stores, they call all the peanut butter type of things nut butter. Ah, oh, fuck! Alright. Let's not forget, I have the Panthen pretty cracked. And we should uh, be pretty hyped about that. Instead, we keep draining. Ah! Hit the fucking girl. Just hit the girl. She's not gonna sue you. Damn it, I knew I should have wore a wife beater for this stream. Alright, here we go. No? Come on! Come on! Son of a bitch. Yes! Okay, now she's pissed. Now if we put the ball in her hand now, she will shoot lasers. That is how girls work. I think. Anybody confirm? Is that how... Love goes? You could use save states in an emulator. I don't need to read the rest of the sentence, but the Aiko Newman emo at the end of that is pretty apt, and you know that. Because that is a villain statement. That is a treacherous, heinous message. That is the vilest scum of all messages that could ever be typed on this live stream, and you are perfectly aware of that. And everybody else should also be aware of that, that if you do that, you're a bitch. And uh, you're just kind of ruining it for everybody, and uh, you don't deserve to enjoy video games whatsoever at all, because this is a man's conquest to go through a whole journey, life-changing journey, might I add. That goes on for years at this point. 
years and years. And we still haven't succeeded. And just, just the thought of, you know, use- Oh! Eat shit! Long, that, that's the, you know, the condensed version is just eat shit. Now. So get too excited. This is the last ball. All I need to do is enter the already triggered, sadly, uh, door to the harpy, which will happen, no doubt, in two seconds. And then that progress is reset. And we don't even have a nice pop bumper configuration here to even make it up there, which is horrible. And the crab is there, like everything is against us. Well, at least we get a little bit of excitement. All right, please don't, don't. Just I need the ball on the right flipper. Man, okay. Nope, fucked up. I fucked that up. Ooh, nice, nice. Ah, oh, come on. Very good. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, the fucking bubbles. The crabs bubbles are pushing me back. I was like, what the fuck? That always goes up. Ah. Uh, this, my friends, resets the Pantheon. I am pretty sure when the, your ball, and that definitely resets the Pantheon when you fucking game over! All right. That was the warm up session. We'll be right back. I'm getting a bit thirsty, chat. I'll be right back. This could be the best non-IRL pinball you've ever seen. It's not. You just need to look at literally the only other pinball game developed by the same company, Technosoft, which is on the Mega Drive, which is way better than this in every single aspect. But yes, you look at this and like, oh, cool, cute, fancy, nice, interesting, and all that. But, you know, it's kind of, it's not. <laughs> the physics and everything around that area. Um, fucking sucks. Did that get? Did that froze the game? No. We're cool. Have I had anything good to eat? Not today. It's just peanut butter, banana, and produce shit like that. Uh, I'll eat something later. But no, no big Easter plans. Sadly, the family is a bit um, dispersed with sick kids and shit like that. Did you see Arnold's Japanese energy drink commercials? Yes. Are you trying to get me to add more advertisements? I like Tommy Lee Jones's uh, coffee boss commercials better. Mm. Ah, damn. Kids always fucking shit up. Well, at least they're not fucking the English language up like you are right now. I mean, they probably would, but... I wouldn't be typing in a Twitch chat unless they're watching Fortnite, in which case they might, but, you know, maybe they're not smiling as big as you are, and that's why it's okay. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's just okay. Now, I am so excited, and, you know, 
I shouldn't do, I shouldn't say this, but I'm so excited for the game I'm not playing, which I wanted to play today, but then I realized it was Easter and I wasn't gonna have time to dedicate too much. <laughs> and this was perfect as a fallback for a, kind of a shorter Sunday session. I like to do a little bit of a bigger stream on Sunday when I can. You guys like that shit? Damn. Hey, dude, I don't come from an English-speaking country. Hey, English is capital. Actually, I'm just kidding. What, uh, what uh, country do you come from and what is the food? What is your national dish? Skeleton Man is gaming indeed. Goaty! So, this person that was remembering this game, uh, they played as a kid, which was uh, Sleepwalker and Dawes. So, I showed it, and they said that was that indeed, but like, feels like it was like more of an updated version or whatever. It's a DOS game, so unless it's actually Eek the Cat, which is this Ness Ritz skin, it doesn't really apply, because it's a DOS game. Would it, uh... Would anything like that make sense? Like an updated version of that? That sounds like it wouldn't make sense. Ah! Wouldn't make sense. Unless maybe the CD version's got new graphics, or whatever. Uh, national food of your country would be anything cooked on a fire. Smiley Big, you have about one minute to tell where you come from and what the... Any dish, because we wouldn't know any better from there is... Wait. What well, you say this? Is it like fucking... Your crimson camo, what's up? 18 months, thanks. Wait, I'm remembering. Was it South Africa? It's gonna be a cool dish that you could fucking talk about, dude. Yeah, cool. Uh, let me silence my phone. I eat trash? Well, way to carry your nickname around, see? That's what I was talking about, chat. Now, you might think that message is stupid, and it is, because, I mean, look at this channel. You know, it just kind of fits the channel, but you know, he's carrying around his nickname as he should. Well, Crimson Camo, thank you so much for the 18 months of unwavering support! Just like my faith in my future conquest of this witch! I'm gonna take her fucking tongue like it's Diablo 2 PvP. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna behead that bitch. Put her head on a platter for the people to see impale her corpse on a big ass steak put it up put it up you know preserve it so it stays there put it up in the front of the drawbridge on the castle for all the plebeians see what happens okay cool let's go we got the good setup only two balls, but, you know, that's the average man's, uh, amount. Ah, 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 I fucked that up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. The crap sucks. Oh, she's pissed. When she's pissed because you hit her too much, that's when, uh, getting the ball, fuck. I still got D-Rust, I raised the wrong flipper there. Uh, consistency strats or not. It's, it always takes a while for me to, like, just fucking re... There you go. Recalibrate to... Again, the consistencies of how you're supposed to get the ball up, and this is it. The problem is that she's pissed, and it's random which configuration she's gonna give you. I just hope that if I do get my ball in her hand and, and when she reconfigures the positioning of the pop bumpers, it's just the other good one. There's two good ones. That are same looking. Okay, come on. One hit with the sword. No. Ah, fuck! Alright. Didn't you land like 10 sword hits and destroy which ones and nothing still happened? 
No, nothing as crazy as 10 sword hits. No, never. And um, logically speaking, I've been thinking about that, of course. Like, it could be that nothing happens at that point. Although, to be quite frank, something is bound to happen. At worst, it will be like a one-up with just a text, like it happens when you hit the mummy an enormous amount of times and it reveals that it's a bikini lady, you know? But that fucking pantheon, that motherfucking pantheon, to crack it, it takes some hits. Then to bust it open, it takes a lot more hits. Likewise, when the witch shows up, wait, what am I saying? Anyway, the progression of the various stages makes it logical to think that it would make sense for the angry witch to require many more hits to be destroyed than it does for the witch to appear, which is the previous phase, and I never felt like I got that. No. I never felt like, oh, surely I had enough hits. No, that did not happen. Uh... JFC, Goldie, you made Marlin Big sad for the first time ever. Well, maybe you should have eaten less fucking KFC and discover more cool recipes that you put shit on the fire and eat with. I also really like Abalone. Now I'm in South Africa. Oh, yeah, dude, he lives in London or some shit. Of course he'd be sad talking about food at me. What the fuck? You know? I mean, look at this guy. He keeps using the dead laughing guy emoji. <laughs> he ain't sad. It's just using emotes that don't exist. You cannot be sad using emotes that don't exist. Sometimes you need to feel sad to discover true happiness. You know what I mean? You know, maybe a little nostalgia for home is gonna help that. You know, remember the fire? The... Okay. <laughs> Never mind! Alright, rearrange pop bumpers. And... It went well. And the bunny girl boss room is open, which is the least risky. So I'm not too worried about that. And we don't really have any damage on the Pantheon either, so... Best food I ever had was in London. It was from the trash. <clears throat> Very good. Yes, smiling big. <laughs> That's the other dead laughing guy emoji. <laughs> Gloria! Gloria! The dead day, Gloria! 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 Any Easter food plans? Nothing at all? We have people from all over the world here, and uh, the only person to mention some cool food shit was fucking Machine Gun Kelly from Australia. I didn't even elaborate on what Pasca is. Yeah, there's lice of... Ooh, yeah, my, my mom made that, actually. That's like the one thing my mom does that doesn't fucking suck shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Is that. That's a nice, sweet, with some, like, how would you say, like, grain bits in the middle. It's like a Naples sweet Easter sort of, like, cake. It's a pulse bags. I like the boobs in this game. Average goatee on the score viewer. Australia has really good food. Yeah, if you're a giant animal, there's a lot of humans to eat. That's good food. Ooh, nice. A direct hit on the top section. Rare. Very rare. Beep, beep, beep. It's 1995. There's no school today. I woke up and I got to play my pinball game. It's 1995, my little pinball game with cool anime characters. 
I'm a knight in this game. I have a big sword and a shield. My name is Sword Shield. And there's a there's a dancing stage that flies in the sky, a big rainbow, and this bell that are colored, and there's this nice lady with a buzz pouring water on a blue guy, and I'm just playing my little pinball game. I don't really understand how the ball's supposed to move. So I think the game is good, and I'm just playing here, the little anime pinball game. I got my little hands and my my big joystick for PlayStation 1. Uh, and I'm playing this game. It's 1995, cool anime. And there's there's a there's a there's a girl with purple hair, and she has no arms, but she has two tits. And I like those tits. I show them from mommy and grandma. They have those tits. Sometimes that, you know, they they come out and it's gross, and and that yells at, at her. But I'm just playing my game today. There's no school, and I don't care that Bobby called me fat today. Uh, over the phone and yesterday at school and the entire year because today I'm playing my cool anime game. I already finished this game, but now... Now I'm trying to kill this fucking witch, dude! I need to get the ball up! Okay, I triggered the Harpy's room. That's not good. But this is. Cool. Now... Good. That's going up. That's going up. There you go. I got it. I got it back. I got it back. I still got it. I still got it. I still got it, damn it. That was a perfect... That was a perfect... Path. From bottom to top. In five seconds. Fuck. What are my thoughts on Pasta al Forno? Well, I mean, that's a... Uh, just a way of saying lasagna. When we say that, it's just literally lasagna. But let's take it literally and actually say what are my thoughts on baked pasta. Because that's what that means, right? Pasta means pasta. Al, in this case, means in. Forno is just oven. So sometimes I like to bake pasta leftovers. You know, you add some shit in it. You can even add some fucking mozzarella or cheese in the middle that will then like, like stringy and shit, that's fine. And maybe on the top you grate a bunch of cheese so it gets crispy or even breadcrumbs. And you know, you do some extra seasoning and you bake that shit. But Look, the pasta bits get a bit crunchy and half burnt, it's even better. Love that shit. Up. Uh, the great way to use uh, pasta leftovers, if you haven't. What if the witch can only be killed when the four bosses are dead? No. That would... no. That would... no. Oh. Lasagna is plural. Supposed to spell it with an A at the end. What video game system do you reckon is the best tasting games? PlayStation 1. Tasting games? You mean like food games? At PlayStation 1. Tasting games, though, is uh, such a peculiar way of putting it. What's up, Sabriel? No, I mean you eat the game? Wait, do you mean you actually eat the game physically in real life? Or like you eat... Slash the down the game like a cool movie trailer. You eat the game, you know, like uh, you fuck homeless people. The video game, something like that. You would get behind that, know that. Which cartridge do you want to lick most? Oh, I paused the game. It didn't crash or anything. I think. I think that. I think if I had to lick or try and eat a cartridge in a video game, I think what would draw my passion, attention, and famine the most would be a Mahjong video game cartridge for I'll be thinking of the Mahjong tiles, and particularly of the one of pins, the one of circles, and how it looks like a nice 
little miniature tasty cake. But that is what would draw my attention. Doesn't mean that is what I would actually want to eat. What I would probably prefer eating if I had to is maybe, maybe a tiger handheld. Just because it's a juicier game and it's not a cartridge, it's the natural full game. And it's like a full game that they made a unit out of a full single game, kind of like an arcade cabinet, you know? So it's like you're eating more power. You're eating the game and the platform and the product. You're eating all at once, and you could never eat an arcade cabinet. So the handheld tag electronics or some shit like that, maybe a Bandai Japanese one would be the, the most power-inducing. A video game system has the best tasting games. Okay, I understand the question now. Nintendo 64 games baked in the oven with mozzarella would be a riot. I think you gotta chop them up though. Those cartridges be tall as shit. What about? Ah. Oh. What about Hue cards? For plating purposes, though. All right. Now you're talking about tasting, but for plating purposes and like style, you have to consider the Atari Lynx. Not the first edition cartridges, but the ones that had the curve. The curved ones. Now, I'm not trying to go for the shape of your dick. That's the shape of a Lynx cartridge. You could, like, put them one here, the other on top, and then you put some fucking garnish on the, on the pocket. True man likes curves. There you go. Thank you, Amy. Hmm. I think a Nintendo 64 game, you would have to stuff it to bake it. You have to stuff that shit's so big, you have to stuff it. You also have to stuff it so you actually get some good shit in there in the first place. <laughs> it's a very nice, very nice thought. Very nice thought. Transcend the need for nutrients. Just eat plastics. As long as it's game, it makes sense. Like that guy that chopped up his dick and served it at a dinner party. True story. Look it up. Japanese cook or whatever. You guys are greedy. Transparent GBA games are the perfect little treats. Man, you don't shut your fucking mouth. Be talking about little treats. You have a stream with a fucking huge ass sandwich rotating the old time. You eat shit on stream and then you do this. You just mm, 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 little treats my ass, Emmy. <laughs> little treats. <laughs> ah, shit! We entered the harpy. This this song is cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it run. I kind of wanna play though. But every time I die so fast. Fuck it, let's go. Here it comes. Wait for the synth. Wait for the synth. And the cowbell. Let's go. The fucking cowbell. The cowbell is so good. It's a trick to good hair. Can you argue? <laughs> That's fine. Goldie, who's your favorite anime on this table? Maybe Satan with the long nails and soccer satan you know but um i don't have one really i don't give a fuck about ah you made me drain thinking about low brain topics i blame rot king for that one get drained that's what you wish you were doing when you're looking at this fucking armless 
uh, crippled woman with tits out. She's not only has wings and no arms, she has hooves. Look at that shit. Gross. Ah, oh, fuck. My finger totally farted in that. That's alright. We get to restart with four lives. We didn't do any damage in the pantheon, anyhow. So that works. GameCube had the sexy looking game discs. Yeah, but you don't want to think about discs, right? There's no. What are you gonna do? Shred them in a. Shred them in a. Um, um, in a powder? Crunch them in a. Um, dust? Nah. That wouldn't work. Mm. Yeah, the mariachi skeletons win it. There's dancers, or there's a robot dancer, the big dude dancer who's naked, the flamenco girl. Those are even in the manual, but the mariachi dudes are best of the best. Ban all robots. No bots shall survive. What about a nice char grill Pico game book? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, it's already like pre stuffed in between the pages, like kimchi. Where the cabbage is stuffed layer by layer, right? Yeah, it's like it's like it's like grilled kimchi in a way. Yeah, oh cheeky with a cheeky with a cheeky with an insane huge lord brain brain lord um, idea there, pretty much. If I can get the fucking Damn it. Alright. God damn it, his physics suck. Imagine the old ancient ladies hearing this man screaming in the day of today. <laughs> In an uh, unknown demonic language, you might say. <laughs> Coolest anime character is a uh, banana putipina from. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, even Zenki is telling that you suck. That was for you, by the way. You suck, dude. Mamimi Samejima from. Uh... Huh? Huh? Is that a Yakuza character? What is your problem, dude? Best anime character? Talking about the best anime... The best anime character is whatever the name of the girl when I played Bubble Black. Stuck a needle in my dick in the roof of the school and then I died and I game over and I was content with that bad ending and I didn't play the game anymore. That's the best anime character. Um... My opinion is better than yours, <clears throat> by the way. Just in case you had any doubts. My sword! What's up, DF? What's up? Fly sword! Nobody knows if it says my sword or fly sword. What's up, Roboto son? Many, many tacos. Nasty tasting chemicals these days. Damn, you mean like modern homebrew games and shit? Oh no. Well. What? Man, I blinked and the ball was up there. That was pretty... Oh, that's what happened? Ah, the fucking... Waterfall. You needed, you needed to be up. Quick 16G! Welcome back. I always think of the PC engine when I see your nickname. Thank you, DF. <laughs> Pissy engine. <laughs> we trigger Satan's. Um. Oh, we trigger every boss's room. All right. Yeah. Hmm. 
that happens when you when you get um, all the uh, three of a kind on the um, on the pop bumpers. Give it up for YouTube chat. No comments in YouTube chat at all. Everybody, help me break Twitch's terms of service by going to my YouTube stream and clicking the like or dislike button. I'm breaking the Twitch rules as I say this. Um, sometimes it's just, you know, sometimes just say shit to fill time. That was one of those times. <clears throat> Thank you, Dimaging, posting a dick in the YouTube chat. Nice. Whatever that is. I would sign up to YouTube if I didn't get a, if I didn't need a Gmail. What? That makes no sense. Are you the guy sending those uh, Ghana prints emails? I keep sending money to. Strike sword? How do you know? How would anybody know? Damn it. Radioactive spider blood. Um, oh, look at that. I never knew this. It tells you how many saves you did. Look at that 83. What's the character count? 38, what? Wow. I don't wanna... Okay. Whew! Alright, stream is now better. By the blood.
fuck. Gotta, gotta hit the lady, gotta... You guys happy? You guys feeling good today? All right, cool, cool, all good, all good. Enough with the stupid music. All right, no more stupid music. All right, that's okay with you. We're going back to the game music. Cool. Uh, Goldie, by the way, I wanted to say I really enjoy your stream intro. Since I've been here, I've been learning lots of cool stuff, such as what. What does that have? To, you, you. That was supposed to be two separate messages, wasn't it? Mm. Hey, well, thank you. For games to avoid. <laughs> uh, sorry, microphone issues. Joe Pesci, beautiful actor. Mm. Uh, you're so handsome, says a person in the YouTube chat with this nickname. Trineo Noob. Hey, uh, welcome to the stream. I mean, I know. But thanks. Oh, let's go. That's what we want. Shit. Paid chatter. <laughs> Nice, let's go. Let's go. Err. Come on, give me give me a fucking saw. Oh, itch. Dude, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit, one, one hit. What the fuck? All right, calm down, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, 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 calm down. Uh, when people say stuff like that, do you wonder, like, what are they doing right now, or does that never come to mind? Smiley Big, it doesn't really come to mind, and who gives a sh Eat your bowl, says Utaru 1921. <laughs> uh, <laughs> BGM on. I mean, Smile and Big, we all been there, you know, it doesn't matter who you're watching, what you're watching, we all kept a window tab to the side. This has been a matter of discussion before in this channel and other channels um, in more remote uh, areas of planet Earth, but they still play retro games and, uh, you know, it is... Uh it is, it is, it is something that you do. You keep a tab here, you keep a tab there, and then you end up, you know, uh, jerking off to a...
Adventure Island stream or some shit. It doesn't matter. It's just a, it's, it's a side effect. You know? Why, why, why am I playing this? Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Watching this game is what I imagine being a blue ball masochist is like. Thanks. It's very, very nice. Vexavoid, hello there. Damn, this is on YouTube now. Yeah, it's been a few months. Oh, the manual says that? Cool. Marry me, please. I mean, you're a fucking anime with a stupid nickname. And I don't swing that way. But hey, uh, cool to have you. You know, any good food today that wasn't just fucking no dick or just maybe a cake? Easter, Easter food? Anybody? Easter food? Uh, the ma oh, yeah, old message of yours, Zanky, about the move name from seven hours ago. <laughs> Can you tell if it's bringing more viewers or whatever? Um. What's up, ZC Gonzo? Hot cross bun in it. What's a cross bun? Uh, today's Easter, I think so. What's up, Nicholas? No Easter food for you, huh? Well, get some shit delivered, maybe. Well, that's the shit I love the most to hear from Chad Gonzo. Go ahead. Maybe you will get the old granny. Oh, okay. Talking about the game there, all right? <laughs> Is that this guy's afraid to go outside? Because he could get the old granny? <laughs> God damn. Keep your money. Oh, I mean, just eat some good shit once in a while. Jeez, treat yourself. Treat your ass. Not literally. Uh, YouTube, sh the, the YouTube smiling big. That's a separate thing. I mean, yeah, but just one well, here and there. Nothing substantial. It's always nice. Has happened before. But um, I got plans. You know, I got plans. I got big plans. And. Uh, there will come a day when some of you sad, sorry-ass motherfuckers will be like, Oh, no, I will be typing literally in other discords. In other discords, one day somebody will paste message from some of you typing she like, Well, no, I don't watch Goti anymore since it's gotten so big. I feel like it's not that sense of commit. He doesn't talk shit to me anymore. There's too many people there. I don't watch God anymore, because it's just gotten too big from YouTube. You know, some of you will say that shit, and I'll be laughing my ass off eating big dinner three times a day, three meals a day. Lol, relax, I'm just joking, but I like the vibes of the stream, really fun. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's, do I need, like, a need to relax? <laughs> LOL, relax. Wow, I was told to relax. It always helps, like, when somebody is agitated. You know, you tell them, hey, relax, and they're definitely gonna relax. And hey, thank you for telling me that. I really needed to relax. I... Uh, you know, I felt like I was really... angered by your compliments and uh, horniness and... Um, Thank you for understanding that and telling me to calm down. You know, we I think we can both learn from this. I calm down my nerves, you calm down your dick, and now we both are not hard anymore. And um, maybe we can have a um, parasocial relationship here. Very nice of you to chat on my YouTube stream. Trap, hello, trap. Go to sold out, so I don't watch anymore. I sold out. To the stream life many years ago. I miss the old Goldie, the lift chairing Goldie, the time me out for 10 minutes Goldie, the stun lock. <laughs> Man, I feel like timing out people for 10 minutes, it's like the ultimate test. I just drain him. A 
feel like you could just time out for some random bullshit, people. And then if they just get pissed after the 10 minutes or whatever, you just ban them. And that's how you cultivate a nice, clean, you know, community of people that are not like... <laughs> just angry all the time. <laughs> but nah, that's that. That's, uh, you could fine-tune that strat and you would really be hitting something. But just the general idea of it is true. Tested and true. Tried and true. What's the saying again? What's up, Shirai? How are you today? Any good uh, game plans after Lamental Master? Any good food, Shirai? Hmm. Horny for Bowtie Satan? Alright. He's Hollywood now. Always been a Hollywood guy! I don't belong here. Wherever I go, I just belong, but I don't really belong. I'm a Hollywood guy. I'm not one for little country fiestas, little town square garden parties. I'm a Hollywood guy. I can be down in the basement doing fucking speeches at a concert with the lead singer shooting air rain in the bizarre I and mean, I have to take over, but I am a Hollywood guy. And we lost a good pop bumper setup. Then again, it's the last ball, so does it really matter? Not really. As a matter of fact, we should um, drain on purpose and start over. Gotta try your hand on making carbonara. You got the ingredients? Do you know how to do it? I've opened a Discord, well, many years ago. <laughs> You're welcome to join, but I've uh, I got a sub channel called uh, for food now. Because I've been thinking about doing that, but I was like, I was like against opening multiple channels, and somebody and like Dino has one. Cause like some people don't want to be hungry all the time, looking at cool pictures and shits. And somebody mentioned that to me in the, in the Discord, and I don't really give a fuck about that. But I'm like, hey, let's let's catch two birds with one stone. And um, I wanted to try and see if uh, like separating that would actually generate more food discussion, which is what I'm hoping for. Old times, old times. I do ten things better than anybody else on earth. Ten things. It works with dogs. Uh, it does, Zanki. Yeah, it does. If you say that with a really soothing voice, and then in the meantime, as you say that, you also like maybe rub, you rub the, the chest, you know, when you talk to them. Like that. you say, relax, relax. And then it works with dogs. Yes, it doesn't work because you're saying them to relax. I understand what relax means. Recycled bin, self-promotion. <laughs> yeah, it's my Discord. <laughs> cause, cause that's how most people use that. You know. So you either have them spam their stupid stream links on your chat, in your main chat, and you don't want that, or you're like, oh, well, no stream advertisement, and you know, that's not really consistent with what I want. So I would want that for you to want that, and it doesn't really, it's not congruent, right? Uh, or you just fucking relegate that in a jail sub-channel for people to post their stream links in. And that's that recycle bin, because nobody gives a shit about that. Unless you're like Jiggy or, you know, somebody that actually fucking... Because people will cross-post their stream link in Discord that they're never post in. And that's all they do is post their stream link in their Discord. And not only that wouldn't work in any measure in spite of that, but it definitely doesn't work at that point, because it's like, you look at that and anybody would go like, oh, wow, this guy is just promoting his stream in random spots. And I don't have a problem with that, but I'm just saying from, um, I'm, I'm trying to give you the perspective of you, 
not mine as a streamer with the Discord. I don't mind that. I mean, I'm all for, hey, follow this guy, follow that guy, follow each other. I host community events and shit like that. That's what I like, right? Zero, zero in, in uh, YouTube chat. Are you the zero I know? Are you Z? Or are you just another zero? <laughs> are you just another zero? You don't matter to me. Hey, welcome to the stream. I have an old friend on the internet called Zero Z. I could never play this challenge. I know my limits in this past them many hours ago. Yeah. No death run of Chakan? Surely you don't mean this. Surely you don't think this is a good idea unless you want to lose your other kidney shit, right? big drum thing was coming, but it's now. Let it be know that I disagree with this F4. And you're gonna have a awful time. And you are going to realize how stupid you are. But it's gonna be too late by the time you actually get to the lava stage with the bug platforms and you fall down and you die. Even if you're playing on practice mode or on hard mode, it doesn't make any difference. You're gonna regret that. And that's coming from a guy that has beaten Shakan multiple times on stream even, and has finished it on hard mode. But, which is already not a good idea. Imagine doing that and not, you know, look. Uh, Lord Sandwich Hammock, welcome back. And Gonzo Wookie, hello. John Roge, hello there. Uh, sounds like loser talk. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. Uh, sandwich Hammock, yes. Let me see if I can uh, dig something up for you. Um, Twitter, go to stream, Chakan. This is me trying to figure out about the Chakan movie. That is the only thing. It, that's the... Um, Well, I once made a post, I don't really remember the contents of it, but uh, yeah, I know everything, literally everything there is to know about that game in extreme uh, autistic depths. There's movies, there's a slideshow by the author with voiceovers by the author. Um, um, that look like this, by the way, hold on. My tale begins in antiquity, ages past. 
in a time long lost. What's up, Wars of Rude? Forever. Twas a different world then, with gods and men and kings and sorcerers, and one other. A warrior priest steeped um, in the darkest of mysticisms and versed in the skills. Zenki linked deal. something cool, I think. An arrogant, vain man. That was me. Shake the on. definitive list of all who beat Shakan the Forever Man. Stay my hand or my boast. That one day even death <laughs> would bow before my sword. <laughs> and that I would wrest from him the gift of immortality. Great power inspires fear. <laughs> and I inspired oh. fear throughout the world. So much so that many of the warrior kings, sorcerers, and gods band together to cast an unholy spell. One that brought forth from unspeakable places. You gotta get your name on this list, Shirai. Just be content with that. I did it and I did it in hard mode. He came for me that day. On a misty plane. It's not that hard to be beat. Well, Shaykhan. Shaykhan, by the way, Shaykhan. Many souls to me. Hello, I nod my head when I lose. But you have grown too strong and powerful. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a funny one. Can we find a fun game? Pro gets it wrong. What do they got wrong here? Uh, this dark character comes from a Japanese comic book. <laughs> Yeah, they got it wrong or right. Is she there in Japanese? <laughs> oh, look how cool this is. Rack. Um, yeah, this is from the um, shit, uh, the Dreamcast shit. Um, this. And one of the artists and designers was the same that worked on Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. It goes something like that. So you will see a lot of the cool designs that were stripped that I'm gonna show you match some of the character design for Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. That's it. This is not the this is not the coolest shit though. This is sh this is sick, but j just 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 give it. Let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute. I'm gonna make you so hard right now. Rayron Hater on YouTube chat. Hello there. Welcome. What's going on? Ask and I shall answer. So, all right. You guys ready? This is a bunch of designs for the sequel on Dreamcast that did not happen. So when I did like a little clip putting some of this together with that animation, I tagged Ed Anunciado on Twitter. I don't know, I don't think it was really pissed, but it came off as a, as a little salt. It's like, well, give me a million dollars and I'll do the sequel, you know? Yeah, it's really active on Twitter. Some would say to a fault. Look at this monster design. Look at this Shadowrun shit, dude. Look at this Shadowrun shit. How sick is this? How sick is this? That's a question you should answer. How sick is this? Laundry. Ass. Tits. It's one of the guys from the first game as well. Pretty cool shit. There's more. They're all fucking awesome. Oh, look at this guy. The fucking giant halberd. Is that it? Can't. 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 That's it. 
It kind of broke. Portal. Another 3D render. Chicago is a really good game, and I'm gonna go take a piss, but I will leave you with uh, maybe the funniest shit you've ever seen. You guys ready? I'm gonna leave you with a little... Uh, a little cartoon that's cute. You know, we gotta balance out the mood. Um, I'm gonna leave you with a little cartoon as I go take a piss called uh, You Gotta Balance Out the Sad, Dark, Horrorish Mood of Shikan. We're gonna balance it out with a little cartoon I like to call, because that's what it's called, Uni the Unicorn. You guys ready? All right. Once upon a time, there was a unicorn. It was a happy, cheerful unicorn. He basked in the warm sunshine and frolicked beneath mystic rainbows. Aww. At night, the stars seemed to twinkle just for him. And by day, he talked to his friends, the flowers, Aww. and wise old Mr. Tree. Life was indeed very beautiful. Until one day, the poor little unicorn came to know fear. Then, pain. No. Then, finally, the cold, harsh, unyielding hand of death. I hate you. But, but Shaykhan, the little unicorn was living such a perfect life. Would you fucking go and slay him, little unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> All this shit, by the way, these stupid videos are on the website from the author. You know, it's not like it's it's official canon lore. It's canon. Yeah, I'm going to leave you with some uh, 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 dark thoughts as I go and take a piss. Is this Chican stuff? Would be inspired. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back. It's about the right length of time, two minutes. He is a warrior. The ocean. The bird's flight. For some, this scene would bring solace. Others would be inspired to poetry or at least an appreciation of the majesty and grandeur of creation. But not this dealer of death. Their beauty seems to rip into his soul, unleashing a familiar melancholy. He knows he cannot enjoy the tranquility of the scene. For this brief rest, this small respite, this little slice of quiet time will not last never does. Not for Shay Khan, the forever man. He turns his weary body inland and slowly walks away from the sea, as if he could walk away from distant memories of a long ago time when things were different. His body shudders in regret of what was and what could have been. Back to the present. Back to how things are. Reality, blood, violence, his reality, death, death, it surrounds him, it always has. At times like this, he walks among the still corpses he has wrought this day. He wonders how long it will be this way, forever, like the sea and the screeching gulls leaves the dead behind, but cannot help but dwell on the anguish that claws to the surface of his thoughts, the frustration of knowing. Tonight, a new dream will haunt his sleep, a new evil revealed, a different pain to experience, the curse, like the warrior's battles, never ends, forever. As dusk drops the full weight of the coming darkness upon his weary shoulders, 
Sheikh Khan takes one last glance backwards, turns slowly, then walks hesitantly into the night's cold. You found my tweet? How? Man, fucking stalker. Are you going to cancel me now? <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> All right, she'll write, just do something else. No death, Shakan. I mean, yeah, it's Shakan. It's not even Che. It's like Shakan. It's Shakan. Shakan? Whatever, man. Yeah, I don't know. No death, Shakan. It's just. It's, I mean. I wouldn't say this if it wasn't for that lava stage, you know. You would have to, like, save state. Or just spend hours and hours and hours just repeating that level over and over again. I'm talking about level... 2. Auto 3 in the elemental plane, which is the second half of the game. So I'm talking about the second half... So, the Earth, is it? Wait, the beginning you have Earth, Air, Water. And you do have the Fire Plane. Which is like catacombs and skeletons and shit. But then it becomes straight up the lava. In the second half, the lava plane. And that shit's vile. I'm talking about the second of those ones. Uh, the platforming is vile and bugged. Very bugged. So if you land on a platform that's overlapping with another platform as they're all moving, you will clip through the floor and die. Very often. So... I mean, it could be easily done with save state practice, or just since it's Chakan and you never game over, you can just get there and practice over and over again. But that's really where it gets um, it gets annoying. That that stage alone takes like a full point out of uh, the game review wise. That list to say shorter. All you need to do to get in that list is DM him and tell him you beat the game. I'm surprised it's that short. Uh, in some ways, Echo the Dolphin is harder than Shakan the Forever Man. But Shakan is just hardcore enough that people don't uh, bother because they don't like video games enough. Or they just don't like video games that aren't easy for that. And, and I don't know why they play Mega Drake games in the first place. And then they go online and complain about uh, them. And then people think uh, somehow that Shakan is a bad video game, ladies and gentlemen. I actually gotta go at some point soon, so let's let's fucking get it done. Let's get something done here. Twitter, man, yeah, I don't do Twitter. That's fine. Some people use Twitter so much, dude. I don't fucking, I don't get it. I'm. Cause, cause you didn't, you didn't link, you didn't link, you, I missed, I was taking a piss, I didn't see it, damn it. There you go. Chikan sequel we never got from tagging the developer, producer rather. Steve Ross the same distinctive art style can be seen in Sirens and in Blood Omen 2. That was the game, not Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. My bad. It's me trying to get Cloud. This is me. What was that sound? This is me trying to get Cloud on Twitter. Lend me a million bucks. <laughs> Lend me a million bucks. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh... <laughs> Lend me a million bucks. Would you lend Ed Anunciada a million bucks to do a Chican sequel? I mean, if I was like a millionaire, I would, I would think about that. You know, I would consider that. Except, um, you know, then you would have to expect something akin to the quality levels of Flashback Two, 
Ah, oh, fuck, I should have trapped the ball and waited. Damn it. Fucking waterfall. Three meals a day or new chicken? Ah. Oh. Tough one. I'll say three meals a day. I don't have that much faith about 3D Chakan being something I would want to play very much. <laughs> Fuck! You ever rage and yell so hard while playing a video game that your butthole hurts? No? Oh, yeah, me neither. I don't know why I brought that up. Damn it. Ooh, nice one, nice one. Thank you, Zenki. Okay. Did I miss anything else, Chad? Did I miss somebody talking about food or something? Come on, dude. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Maids. All right. Garlic bread. Never had it. What about raisin bread? Timer for this game. Yeah, this started so long ago, though. Hey! Timer is F4. Okay. Got two balls left. So we're all on the same level right now, chat. It's kind of a lousy one. Let me get the fucking witch one more time, dude. Come on. Come on. No hit. Son of a bitch. No! <clears throat> oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Ichi, hello there. How was the open tone? It was shit. It was sh it was garbage. It was bad. Worst day of my life. Uh, it was really good, of course. It was nice. People had fun, we had fun. Did you guys have fun? Well, let me let me just drain. <sighs> Do -do 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 -do. Fuck you, man, you'll never kill the witch. Damn. <laughs> oh, savage. Look at this screen. Nice screen. Look at the tree. Such a nice tree. It's a little. I went fucking Zoidberg trying to say hello, Neo Freeman. I'm like. You can choose ball speed to be set to slow. Have you tried the Akira Pinball game? I haven't tried it. I've seen it. 
at some point I was trying to buy a copy from GameStop many years ago for five bucks. I wanted the cash, I looked at the fucking disc, and it was just destroyed and scratched. I was like, never mind, you keep that shit. Um... Oh yeah, no, the, the discussion was something along the lines of like, well, you know, I want to play this. Uh, if I get home and it doesn't fucking work properly, can I bring it back? It was like, no, no warranty. Well, then uh, you keep that shit. And the disc was destroyed, dude. Nowadays, you can just emulate that shit, easy peasy. Law of averages and all. Nah, you don't understand this game. This game doesn't give a shit about your law. Sandy Cheeks. I like ducks too. Oops, wrong chat. Sandy Cheeks says, I like ducks too, and then says, oop, wrong chat, wrong chat, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna say something here. What's up, Gabrush? What do you mean it's not trap? Wrong anime girl. <laughs> yeah, fucking traps, fucking stupid shitty ass fucking anime girl. It's an anime child you got. It's an anime child you got as a profile picture. To this day, it's been 10 years. To this day, I don't know what fucking wicked anime child you got a, a fucking... But you don't get to say it's an anime girl, dude. You don't get to say it's an anime girl. That's an anime child. <laughs> same, I'm actually, I'm, I stand with Guybrush in this. It's the same avatar. Same shit. Do you play with your duck in the bath? Well, you just seen one of my... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 rubber ducks of which one is a giant one one is the queen of england one is an army duck what's your point no i don't not yet yes one of my rubber ducks is dead <laughs> give it up for the queen of england Topical <laughs> Topical rubber duck, everybody. <laughs> Hold on, we got something here. Hold on. Oh! Cracked it with four balls. Alright, alright. We got something here. And now I need to rearrange the pop bumpers. <laughs> This has become very popular now. <laughs> uh, I wish somebody would cancel me. You know what's gonna happen? Somebody cancels me, dude. Ooh, this is good. Somebody cancels me, I'll, you know, I'll just have four meals a day. That's what's gonna happen. Yes, yes, get more eyeballs on my stream. Yes, 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 do that. Do that, get offended, yes. By the way, you're fat. Oh. What did you say? <laughs> 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 
Oh! Nice. Uh. Okay, hold up. I'm leaning so forwards right now towards the screen. Because this is such a... This is it. This is so much it. Oof. Do we need to try to cancel you? I would appreciate that. If you are cancel, no more Italian Twitch. What do you mean? <laughs> Dave Attell. I know it from his appearances in Kill Tony. It seems to be... Yeah, I haven't seen his shit though yet. But I would like to. Go with it! It is a tough shot. He likes these, but that ain't the bank. Well, not this one. He doesn't like this one. <laughs> oh, he's coming off the rail. Look oh, at this. hit what it perfect. Shot. Hit it perfect. What a great shot by Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> is he a gamer? <laughs> is he a gamer? <laughs> What's up, Al? Thank you, fat. So the two thirty. I'm fat and proud of it. Nice. Um. Ooh, another hit. I would. Uh, I was considering. I'm thinking. Oh, very good. I'm thinking to add. Oh yes. Sit back down. Sit in the chair. It was just an ordinary chair. That was a filthy dirty neo who does nothing but play video games all day. Read how we end keeps the hair all unkempt. Wait a tick. Outside of the Yahweh part. Isn't that you? RRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
Getting up with the sword. Might get lucky. Did not get lucky, that's fine. No! Okay, we're gonna wait for the waterfall to come back. All right. I do more game research than playing games. I hear you. Is he a game? Goblin doing a concert in Tokyo. Sick. In July, I got the Avril Lavigne concert. That's right. That's right. You got a problem with that? Huh? Huh? Okay, is it enough? I'm gonna have a sip of water. Praying for good balls. Thanks. We kinda need the good balls. Let me check my phone, because I gotta go after this. Yeah, let me answer my mom. Yeah. Okay, it's time. Oh. She thick now? Who, my mom? Huh? Huh? Fuck, the other flipper I should have lifted. Okay, here we go. Here we go. See that technique? Okay, just give me a sword. Ooh, that's good. A little guard. Just not drain. It's really uh, uh, unlikely to get a hit on the witch while this shit's going on, but... You know, you can try and get the sword like that. You might just get lucky and get a hit. That was not a hit. Oh, that was. Another hit! Another hit! Ah! Fuck! Hold up, hold up. Ooh, the bug, the fucking bug. Hold on. Okay, no bug. Ooh, ooh, ah! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. So unlucky. Ah, ball control. No. Oh. Hold on. Huge, huge, huge itch. Ah. No doubt. I don't know. Who that is? She thick? Whoever Levin is thick? What? what no. <laughs> it's not. It's not it. She was super skinny when uh, she came out famous and shit, but after like three years, she put on some meat. That's about it. That was like 20 years ago. Uh, hello, Peanut Romano from the YouTube chat. Welcome. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, everybody, hold on. Everybody, hold on your tits. Something huge is going to happen on this stream. Something never seen before in the world of a game. Control the bull, motherfucker. Come on. Nope. It needed to be on the right flipper for this to happen, and... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nice. There you go. There you go. Oh, perfect. 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 Oh, oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. Da. Yes. Calm down. We're there again. Now, it takes... It's easy to get her from normal to pissed. Now, to get her from pissed to whatever the fuck is next... It's not easy. Is that gonna stop us? Shit. I feel like I could have saved that. But here we are again, isn't that? Nope. Ah! Oh, 
Nice. Perfection! No! Okay, cool. Nice. Get up. Get up. Motherfucker, yes. Son of a bitch. Sword? 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 Good sword? You're getting a hit is so random in, on the witch, guys, and the panther in general, so it's not like I can aim at her. That does not work, believe me. Because I know from somebody that hasn't played this game, like, it looks like I'm shit and not aiming at the witch at all. It just doesn't work. He, he, yes! That's how it works. Ah, fuck. Also, there's a little demon blowing air against the ball when you do get the ball there. So it's all luck, mostly perseverance, and just keeping the ball up there is the skill part of it, I suppose. Oh, dude. Oh! Ah, ha, ha, ha! Keep the ball still. Wait for the waterfall to come back. We got a sword hit on her. That is huge. We got a sword hit on that fucking bitch. That is humongous. The water falls back. Yes, the physics in this game are other trash. As opposed to Technosoft's other pinball game, which is the Mega Drive remake of Devil Crash, which is near perfect physics for what it is. Nico Jess, hello there. Alright. Shit. Okay. <laughs> the fucking maids trip me up and make me drain there. Any single hit now would be so high, but a sword hit would be so good. Yes! That was a sword hit. That was a sword hit. Fuck. I could Tough luck, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Control. And nice, nice, whoosh, whoosh. Nice sword. Oh, no. Nope. The waterfall's about to leave us, I fear. Oh shit, okay, calm down. Nice. If you're calm, you, you, you know, you can get it up. It was close. <laughs> My fingers are so sweaty right now, you have no idea. Control the ball! Control- ah! oh, Fucking crab! God! Blasted! Bitch! Nice! The crab's un- the, cr the crab's a problem. This crab's a problem. Better than opening a boss room. We've been really lucky this moment. We haven't bo opened any boss room. If we open a boss room via the pop bumpers, which is full randomness, and we end up entering a boss room, it resets. The table resets. That's the shittiest thing in this game. Kill the fucking crab, please. No, don't, don't. <sighs> nice pass, nice pass, go up. Kill the fucking, yes, all right, all right, still not up. What's up, Jonah Gameplays? Welcome to the stream on YouTube chat. You don't know this game? Hey, I don't speak uh, Spanish or Portuguese, dude. Sorry.
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yes. Yes! We want it on the right flipper, but let's try this. Shit. Uh, fuck. No, no! Calm down, calm down. Gotta get it back there, chap. Yes! Ah, fuck! What are we doing here? Come on, man. <sighs> no, no, no. Yes. The in lane slimes restore the health of your outlet. We open the harpy room, I think. This is bad. If that is the case, but anywho, we're back in there, up there. No, what stupid fucking tip of the flipper physics in this game, dude? Slimy ass, buttery shit. All right. Hmm. <sighs> 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 I would put it in Zanki, I'm not sure it would be used. A harpy one that cries, I'm sure, would be used. I <gasps> hit, I hit. That was a hit. I saw the hit! No, why'd you get a bug like that? Okay, lucky. There's a bug where when you let go of the control ball, it goes down too fast. I have to take that into account too. Fucking. Sword. Sword. Sword get. Oh! Dude, this is close. This is close now. Whatever's gonna happen, we're close. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No, oh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. But hey, maybe it's just gonna happen now. It's gonna be harder to get it up until we get the good pop bumper configuration again. That is bad. But hey. We got a sword, we got a guard. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's another hit! And another one! <laughs> I still got four balls. This is like absurd. The absurd best run possible. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, got lucky. The bunny girl boss room is open. That is the best one to have open because it's the hardest to enter. But that is still... bad. Oh, let's make it happen now. Let's make it happen now. I got a fucking sword. Stick it down that bitch's throat. Shit. If this resets it, I'm gonna be so sad.
It's over. It's over. <sighs> Good effort. Good effort. Hello, Golden Jewels, uh, Jonah Gameplays, and Gabriel Ramos from YouTube chat. I do not speak Portuguese, but I sort of understand that. I'm Italian. Hey, Adanado, caralho. That's all I know in uh, what I think is your language. I'm not even sure about that. Hopeless stream. <laughs> Man, hopeless stream, dude. It's uh, such a tactical message timing. That was pretty trash, Goody. Go back to cooking and banging broad. Was not the day either. Today was not the day I saved the village from the evil which they don't even know how it's up there in the pantheon. Doesn't matter how many swords I have the blacksmith craft for me. Doesn't matter how hard I slam my dick when I go alive to play cute and kind fantastic pinball. We failed once again. But the quest is not over for the gamer who will go live again at some point. Trying his luck, throwing his balls up in the air. But I fail. You know what? Your sex started to piss me off today. Just, just go away. Maybe you think it's over. The truth is, it's over for now. But I'll be back. Perhaps next time I'll be playing Shoggy. Perhaps it will be days or weeks or even months before we try this again. But when we do, Stay sure. God fucking damn it. I'll do anything it takes. 
I'll get naked if I have to. I'll get butt naked and play like that for added gaming power. If I have to, I'll get my balls out there in the air. All three of them four with the same file. I'll grab my controller, handle my flippers, and I'll show you.